Most Final Cut Pro users only know five or six shortcuts, but there are hidden gems on this keyboard that can literally transform your workflow. Today, I'm showing you 10 shortcuts on my Editor's Keys keyboard that I use every single week. And once you see what they can do, you'll never edit in the same way again. Now, back when I started editing, everything took forever. I cut clips with the mouse, I tweaked audio manually, and basically redid every single change three or four times because I didn't know how to work smarter. And then I saw a pro editor blaze through a revision in about five minutes using keyboard shortcuts that I just never heard of. That's when I started taking these keys very seriously and when I started to create editor's keys. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all of the shortcuts that I think are super important that could transform the way you edit. So let's start with the first one and that's the blade tool. The basic, press B to click to cut. And then secondly, we can do Control plus B to blade at the playhead. So there's no need to move your mouse, just hit Control B and slice right where your playhead is. Use this when you're cutting to the B. Number three, Shift plus B. This is the blade speed. Okay, so this clip is slowed down. You can see that we have our slow motion bar at the top there, it says slow 25%. Now, some people wanna do uh, speed ramps and things like that. So all you have to do, again, using the uh, blade tool, all we're gonna do is hit Shift and B, and you can see that it's not actually cutting the clip, it's cutting the, the, the timeline above it. So a super handy way if you wanna control uh, speeding clips and things like that, and then we can move these little handles left and right, and you know, kind of complete our little speed ramps directly from the timeline just using keyboard shortcuts. Really, really good way of doing speed ramping. Number four, the range select. This is one of the most powerful tools. Select a selection of your clip, apply volume, color, or speed without touching the rest of the timeline. An absolute game changer. So another super powerful tool is the range tool. A lot of people don't really know how to use this. And I'm gonna show you this in a couple of ways. So first of all, let's just say we've got some background music playing here. To fade the music down, maybe you've got some voiceover going. Simply hit the R key. This is going to bring over the range tool. You can drag over the range tool if you want to duck down, and then simply pull it down. And you can see here that we have this range, which is just affecting this portion of the music here, rather than the entire amount. You can then go back if you want to the A tool, and then drag out these sliders here. So now we have music, which is going to fade down, ready for our voiceover. <laughs> Another way you can use the range tool, let's go back, hit the R key again. Let's just say we wanna delete a little section here. We can select this range, hit the delete key, and that section is gone. We can also do speed ramps with the range tool as well. So I'm just gonna drag the start of this clip here and at the point where I kind of get horizontally okay and I'm going towards it, I'm gonna speed that up. So let's just say we wanna do a little speed ramp. I can click up here and I can speed that up, let's just say eight times. It's gonna be a little speed jump, so let's play that through. There we go. A nice little transition to the part of the clip that we want to get to. And that's how you can use the power of the range tool. Still on R number five, we're gonna use Shift plus R. This is replace from start. So replace from start, so let's just say that actually someone said, I don't want the coffee shop, I actually want the shot of the coffee cup. So if you've got, uh, found a shot here, just come to where you are in the timeline and then all you have to do is hit Shift and R and it's gonna replace that in time on the timeline of that shot from there so you don't have to drag and drop and things like that. Just a very fast way of getting your shot in there. You can use it for some uh, other things as well but I use it mainly for that. So you can swap out your footage with a new shot that starts at the same time. It keeps all of your edits in sync, a huge time saver for B-roll changes. So number six is Control plus Shift plus S. Now this is super handy if you've got a speaker in your video and you wanna keep the audio running. So you can detach it and then just drop in your B-roll. So this is an absolute game changer. So let me just show you this. I've got these two clips here. So uh, it's Control plus Shift plus S. And there we go. We've got the audio file separately. You can either delete it, you can move it around, you can edit that bit, edit to your heart's content. But that is Control plus Shift plus S. Number seven, Control plus S. 
expand audio video. Okay, so using this clip here as well, if you wanna expand your audio, simply hit Control and S, and that's gonna expand your audio just like that, so you can do a bit more fine tune editing to your audio right there. Number eight, option plus W, insert gap. Now, when some people have, uh, say, a few clips lined up like this, uh, I'm just gonna change this from the play tool, and they wanna maybe move a clip here and everything starts to go a bit crazy. A lot of people have asked me this, how do you add a gap clip in? Let's just say we want to add a clip here so that everything stays where it is. Well, all you need to do is hit Option and W. So if I can do that now, Option W, that's gonna insert a gap clip. So you can use this in a few different ways. So let's just say we wanted to insert one here, Option plus W, we can insert a gap clip right there so that we can extend uh, this sort of blank space under here so that the, the mark in and outs are at better time. So it's a really great way, just Option W, Option W, boom. You might wanna put like another clip over top of this. And it's a great way of moving it around because if you're new to Final Cut, in, in Premiere, for example, things stay where they are as you move them around. In Final Cut, you have that, this magnetic timeline, and it does make it a little bit tricky when you're first learning uh, Final Cut Pro. You're thinking like, how do I move that without like the rest of this timeline just going crazy like this? So I wanna move that out and everything moves out of place. This is the way of doing it. Just simply put a gap clip there and your problem's sorted. Number nine is the C key. Select clip at playhead. Now, as we're scrolling through this timeline, a lot of people will go through and they'll kind of select the clips like this as they go through. A way you can speed that up is with the select clip tool. So just even without um, going down and selecting a clip, especially if you've got a big timeline made up of a lot of clips, just press the C as you hover over each clip. You see that? So as I move my mouse over and I hit C, it's just gonna select that clip. So if we wanna quickly do an edit, I don't have to like click into the clip or anything like that. Super handy, again, if you've got maybe a bigger timeline. Of course, I'm showing you a timeline with you know one set of video. Uh, so this would be a little bit different, but uh, it's good nevertheless. Number 10, we're using the S key and we're gonna hit option plus S and this is gonna solo the clip. So sometimes we have tons of things going on within our edit. This is obviously a very basic edit, but if you want to hear something clearly, this mutes everything else. So this is amazing when you're mixing dialogue, voiceovers, or you just wanna to listen to some music. So option S, solo clip. So let's just say we've got this song playing here. And actually, I wanted to hear the wind rustle or the person talking. Uh, select your clip, and then as you're playing it through, just press Option and S. You can hear it's just playing that wind noise. So super handy if you've got people talking and you want to make sure that you can hear them without the music, select those and then press Option S. Or maybe you want to check out the background music to make sure it fits without the person talking over it. Select that and then hit Option S. And that is going to solo your clip. Now, all of these shortcuts are printed on the Editor's Keys Final Cut Pro keyboard. And honestly, that's the only reason I remember half of these shortcuts and why we created them at Editor's Keys. It saved me from having to search, guess, or just click around all the time, and it makes editing a lot more fun. And let's be honest, it makes your desk look cool as well. So let me know in the comments which shortcut are you already using and which one just blew your mind. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more Final Cut Pro tips. And the next episode is all about grading without plugins. So I'll see you in that video.